Mm. What's good guys? Jake will cook that here. Today we're making street style tacos straight out of Mexico. On. Keep it medium high just to get your pan nice and hot. And we're going to start by cutting half of an onion. So, how we're going to cut it? Add a little bit of oil to the pan. So, ideally, you want to go for a small onion. This is quite a lot. We got and you would normally use four chorizos. I'm using two because I was too tempted to eat them last night. Mexican chorizo right here, pre-cooked. So how are we gonna do this? Just cut it nice and thin, just like that. Nothing too specific, but just a nice rough chop. Ideally, the chorizo will break down as it cooks. You can see that there's little bits of fat in there. So we're gonna add that to our onions. and just get that mixed together. So we're gonna add a little bit of minced garlic to the mix. As you cook it, you wanna just sort of mash it, just like this. So here are the ingredients we're gonna need for our avocado topping we're gonna to make. Just like my ultimate breakfast recipe. If you're worried about cutting your hands, you can sort of just roll the avocado and then take it press it out. So how we want to break this up is you take a knife, just cut nice little slits just like that. And then just scoop it out. And we'll do the same for the other. Take our garlic salt, dash of honey, Also just a little bit of pepper to bring out the flavor. Perfect. And then we're just gonna give it a nice little mash. Let's taste it. So let's check on our chorizo. It's really starting to break down right now, so we're gonna take a little bit of beef stock. You could use water. A little bit. And as that's going, we're gonna take a radish, because it's always good to have a bite to your taco. We've got some cilantro. It's gonna give it a nice rinse. And just pick enough for you so you have uh, your garnish ready. Oh, and feta, you can't forget feta. We're gonna go with tomatillo. It's just about done. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that's phenomenal. That's perfect. I think this is done. You can go further if you like it crispier. See, the thing about this recipe is it's so good on its own, the chorizo, that you really don't have to add much to it. It's very simple, yet one of the best dishes you'll ever find. So we'll put that aside. As you've seen in my last videos, we're gonna take our corn tortillas straight onto the heat. Okay, so first we're gonna add a little bit of our chorizo. Really nice and gorgeous. We're gonna continue with our lime avocado. Radishes. And just finish it with some cilantro. If you like spice, definitely add tomatillo. Just a nice little salty finish. Shebang, that's it. Guys, very simple. Oh boy, I'm so excited to try this. Mm. This is off the charts. You get the perfect amount of spice. You guys need to try this out. Like, try this right now. Like, like right now, right now. 